Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 26th of 2022. Well, it is titled Light Echoes from V838 Mon. So what do we see here? Well, this is a variable star known as V838 Mon. And that is the cataloging designation for this type of variable star. Uh, so what we see here is a great shell of material around the central star. And in fact, for a while, it had been expanded. And back in 2002 to 20 years ago, it had become one of the brighter stars in the galaxy. And then it quickly faded. Now we know stars can brighten and fade. Some of them do it intrinsically that they are variable that they will actually pulsate and get larger and smaller. And they do this on a regular basis. So there are certain types of variable stars that will do this regularly. There are also irregular variables and there are cataclysmic variables things like a nova or a supernova. So that a, a star will temporarily brighten. Uh, some of those can recur like a nova can reoccur again, uh, maybe after 50 or 100 years because of the method through which it brightens. A supernova, on the other hand, is a one time event for a star much, much brighter, but will only occur one time. Now when we're actually looking at this as we see the material that is expanding outward from the star, what we're really seeing are what we call light echoes. And a light echo, we're seeing the light being reflected from distant material. So it's not actually the material itself. But the light from this pulsation is now moving outward. And as it strikes different layers and illuminates them, we see those echoes as it tends to move outward from the star itself. So the material then could have or would, would already have been there. This is material that was around the star previously and is now just being illuminated from the light that left 20 years ago. Now that means that of course we can look at the size as to how fast this moves outward and that it can take remember that light does not travel instantaneously fast that light only travels at a speed of one light year per year. So it takes time as it moves out through this nebula to actually illuminate the various pieces. So as it goes a little further out, new layers will then be illuminated and the older layers will then become unilluminated again. So it's just the dust and get dust that is out there that we can then see as it is illuminated by these light echoes. So that was our picture of the day for June 26th of 2022. It was titled Light Echoes from V838 Mon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be Gummy Mountain Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.